It was a tale as old as time. Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. Single PC stream. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. I'm sure you've heard it before from your favorite tech tuber. You only need one PC for streaming. These people don't game. So the problem historically has been when you stream, uh, when you live stream a game as you're playing, the performance hit was always way too large that you couldn't play competitively while streaming at the same time. So the two PC setup was uh, created to alleviate that bottleneck. So in my own um, streaming journey, my personalized streaming journey, I want to say, I used to listen to all these tech tubers and they always said one PC is fine. So I went that route. I got the single PC, did the NVENC encoding. I, I would go from like 200 FPS to like 160, 150. I'm like, this is unacceptable. So then I tried two PC using OBS NDI, uh, which is a video over Ethernet protocol that you can use. It was a little better. I would get like 20% back. So maybe like, I'd be at like 180 FPS, but I would still lose like 20% off the top of my total FPS, right? So eventually I collected all my parts together. I got the 3950X. I got an Elgato capture card. I routed the sound. Now there's zero performance hit while I stream. And all the pro streamers, they all got two PC setups. Nobody... Anyone who's a pro gamer has two PC setups. All the tech tubers that don't play competitive games, single PC is enough. It... it, it it's not a lie, but it's not good enough. We, we're, we're frame chasers. We, we need the best. But anyway, the purpose of this video, now with the Ampere cards out, we have an interesting predicament, I want to say, not predicament, decision-making choice to make. Let's say you have enough money for a 3080, but not a 3090, but you, you also want to stream. You also don't want to compromise on your stream quality. What if the extra money that you could put towards a 3090 would offset the cost of a two PC system? So the price difference from a 3080 to a 3090 is $800. So what would be better? Making the jump to the 3090 or using that $800 budget to invest it into a second PC for streaming? It does the 3090 have enough performance headroom not to feel that hit? So what I'm going to do, si uh, since Warzone is the most popular game right now, I'll use that as the template for this video. What we're going to do is I'm going to take the 3080 and the 3090. I'm going to stream both of those cards on a single PC setup. Then I'll stream both of them with the second PC setup. Then what I'm going to do is see if I can build a second PC capturing computer for $800. I'm pretty sure I can. And that's a lot of money for a, for, a, for a second PC. Pretty much what I'll do is find an OEM machine, like a Dell or like an HP or something. Put a 1650 Super in it and an Elgato capture card in it. And that's pretty much all you need. And then that alone will take care of all the encoding for you. We're gonna stick with 1080p for this. Um, I'm assuming if you're a streamer, you're gonna be streaming, recording, and playing in 1080p because you have a 240 hertz or a 144 hertz monitor and 1080p at those refresh rates is the competitive ref um, resolution right now. So that's where we're going to start. So first things first, I'm going to go up to the gaming rig now. I'm going to get the FPS numbers for the 3080 and the 3090 in both and all four of those formats. And then I'll be right back and then we'll see 
if it's worth getting a second PC or a better GPU. Let's find out. All right, guys, check this out here. So what we got going. Actually, you know what? I'm going to close OBS for now. Let's open up Warzone quickly. This is the 3090 first that we're testing here. Okay. Right away in the menu here, we got 1080p resolution. These are the settings that we're using. High, 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 blah, blah, blah. And then all the uh, ray tracing, lighting effects, anti-aliasing turned off. So... Our FPS in the menu is about 209. 29, 27. All right, well, we'll say, we'll say 207 on average is our FPS in the menu here. Let's go into a quick practice game here. This is without any streaming software open on the computer right now. So what do we got? We'll just go with the airplane because it's consistent. Not this part, but the next part. All right, we got... Okay, so we're at 300 FPS in the airplane with the 3090. That's good. That's good. That's what we want. Let's let's see. Let's see what happens now when we start streaming. Let's leave this. So let me write this down quickly. So notepad. We got 207 FPS in the menu. This is the 3090. 3090. And then we got 300 FPS in the plane. Uh, that's default. This is this is if you had a second PC streaming. Now let's do OBS. So we're gonna open up OBS here. OBS, OBS. Okay, so we got. I wonder why it's all small. Output 1080p. 36 samples, 60 FPS, apply, output, advanced, recording, um, whatever, we can just do desktop, desktop, MP4, and then we're going to use NVENC encoding, CBR, 8000 is what we're going to be doing. Uh, keyframe interval, 2 is what Twitch demands, max quality, high, look ahead, max B frames, 4, apply. Okay, so, now when I hit the record button, it's going to be using the NVENC encoder at 8 kilobits per second, 8,000 kilobits per second, to record the game. So let's hit recording. I'm going to move this up quickly. I'm going to hit record. Game capture is on. Let's go back into the game. Okay, back. So now we're at... Seems to be settling around 200. 201, 202. This is 1080p, remember. 203. So... 203. Let's say on average it's at 203. That seems fair. 203. All right. Let's write that down quickly. 3090. 203. FPS menu. Now let's go to the airplane. 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 Still recording. I haven't un un done the recording yet. All right, let's see what the FPS tells us here. It's looking pretty good so far. Very minimal hit on the 3090. It's actually impressive. So 
So in the plane, yeah, we lost 20 FPS, 10. It's it's really it's really all over the place right now. Um I'd say we lost 15 FPS. 285 seems to be what it's averaging at. All right, here are the finalized numbers and percentages here. Uh you can you can tell at 1080p there's not there's not much of a performance loss on either of these. Like it's really impressive. Performance loss at 4K is like definitely noticeable. But so I mean, I guess if you are streaming at 1080p, you don't need a second PC. I was wrong. Huh. I was definitely not on board with this for the 2000 series, but for the 3000 series, yeah, I guess there is enough headroom in both of these cards where you don't need you don't need a second PC to stream. Very interesting. All right, well, if you bought a 3000 series, you don't need a 2 PC at all. Uh, either of those cards, they take... They perform and take about the same hit at 1080p in Warzone, specifically. So I would say if you are a new... Prospective streamer, gamer, professional, whatever... And you have a 3080... Do not need the second PC for 1080p esports streaming at all. Do not need it. Uh, with a... 280 hertz monitor and below. If you are gonna get that 360 hertz monitor though, the uh, I don't know what the not the model number is off the top top of my head, the PG whatever. If you're gonna be getting that monitor though, you're still gonna want a two PC setup because that five percent performance loss is still too much for 360 hertz. I would assume going forward. Especially in Warzone, but Overwatch and CSGO, probably not. You have, to, you have to base that around the game that you're playing, obviously. So to sum this video up, can, can you single PC stream? Yeah, you can. You, I, I guess you can. I did not expect that, but yeah, you can. The, the 3000 series can do it. Would it be worth getting a second PC over a 3090? No, I would still get the... I would take that money and buy a 3090. Um, future proofing, 24 gigs of RAM. And the other caveat that I didn't show is you can actually increase the render resolution on the 3090 before the frames start dipping so that your audience gets a better picture quality on their end. Which that would be better than getting a second PC and streaming 1080p. It'd be better to get a 3090, stream 1440p quality to the viewer, and then taking the hit with the 3090 on the streaming. That's what I would do. So it would go in order like this. 3080 is first, you can stream off that. 3090 is second, you can stream really well off that, no problems. And then if you're doing 360 hertz, professional eSport, CSGO, whatever, second PC hits then. Anything below, I guess, anything below 300 FPS, you'd be fine without a second PC, I would say. Uh, it, it looks like, anyway. Uh, I got a, I got a VG259QM 280Hz. I don't need a second PC anymore, I guess. I, the 3090 does it just fine. But I guess, if you're a storyteller type streamer, where if you're playing... The Last of Us or something or Death Stranding at 4K 60. You're still going to want that other PC because the performance hit at those higher resolutions. Uh, I guess it scales with resolution. The more resolution, the more performance hit you get. So that's something to think about if you're a single player streamer. Esports streamer, 3080 all the way. Anyway, guys, I hope you learned something today. I sure as hell did. Uh, I... Don't need a second PC, apparently. I'm still going to use it because even losing that 5% FPS off 1080p is unacceptable to me. Uh, but So I'm, I'm still going to keep it. But if you're new into streaming, get yourself a 3080 and it's not going to hold you back. And you're going to be totally fine. Uh, yeah, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. 
do all that YouTube SEO stuff for me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.